the reason why we all overthink is because we're living in something that isn't right now. We are living in a moment that is not this one. What's going on, YouTube, my fellow watcher? First of all, I want to say how grateful I am that you're here. Grateful that you're spending your time watching this. Um, so as a lot of you guys know, they're trying to cancel me right now. Uh, it's kind of funny because I've, I've re-watched the video I posted multiple times, and I have not said anything that wasn't factual. Uh, and it's really woken me up like to how sensitive the world that we live in is nowadays, and especially if you say something truthful. Uh, the truth is like a sword. Whenever you say something truthful, it's going to cut. It's going to make people scared, and it's going to hurt people. And that will not stop me from spreading my truth, spreading what I believe to be what humanity needs to hear. Maybe what they don't want to hear, but what they need to hear. And I'm not, I'm never going to justify myself, even though I kind of just say I'm justifying myself. But like, I will never take back what I said unless I know it was very wrong. And I'm not taking back anything I said, but I am human. And this is the first time I've dealt with controversy in my whole entire social media career, I guess. I've been posting online since late 2019. I was 19 years old when I started. I'm 21 now, about to be 22. And I have not dealt with controversy one time. I've been a people pleaser the whole time that I was posting. And I, I realized that I wasn't putting out what is authentic to me. I was putting out what I thought people wanted to hear and that would make them comfortable and get likes on my videos, get get attention. And that's just no longer what I'm here to do. I'm no longer here to please people. I'm here to awake the masses. Genuinely, this is my purpose. I have it on my whiteboard where it's like every day, my purpose is to wake people the fuck up and tell them what they need to hear, what's going to improve their lives even if it makes them uncomfortable, but I'm human. So this led me to overthinking for the first time in my life um, when it came to social media because I was like, holy shit, could I, could I be getting canceled right now? Like, there's no way because I only said, I only upset like such a small group of people, but I also upset the group of people that does nothing other than sit on their phone. So it was, uh, it's just interesting because I know that no one has ever made a difference in this world without dealing with this controversy. Um, but it just let me overthink, like, wow, like, if I don't have social media, like, how am I going to rely on my, my income? How am I going to grow if I can't even post something without it being censored? So I was obviously, like, there was a slippery slope of downhill thinking, and I realized that these are all just me creating false realities in my head. Like, the reason why we all overthink is because we're living in something that isn't right now. We are living in a moment that is not this one. We are creating these moments or reliving these moments when we can't change those. We can create a reality that is better for us and we design it ourselves, but we can't predict the future. Life is always going to throw curveballs at you. And it's just like reinventing yourself. Winners reinvent themselves. You're going to deal with adversity, controversy, all this shit on your on your path. And like how you handle and deal with that is going to jurisdict your life, right? And I feel like a lot of overthinking comes from inaction. If you're not taking enough action, you probably get anxious because action eliminates anxiety, period, simple as that. So if you're getting anxious, how much action are you taking to really create this life that you so desperately want and you want to attract, right? It's like living in this moment right now and focusing on this moment. Knowing what you like, have a whiteboard, have a something where you can go and look at, and like, this is what I want. This is the goal right here. I have a vision board. I have three whiteboards taking up my whole wall of what I want my life to look like. And then what I need to do. So I have one that's what I want my life to look like. And then I have one where it's my whole daily schedule every day. This is what my life looks like for me to accomplish the life that I want. Freedom. I want to move to the mountains and have no one touch me. I don't even want to be, I don't even want to use my phone. I want to be able to Twitch stream and post videos on YouTube and have other people with affiliate accounts take care of the rest. That's my goal. And I'm going to make that happen. I'm going to make that happen. But right now, I need to focus on getting the long-term content, long-form content out, which is what I'm doing right now. So to eliminate your overthinking, you need to make a plan. You need to make a plan. You need to be in the moment. And you need to be proactive as possible, right? Like, 
you it's 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 a really hard balance if i'm being honest because you need to find the balance of being in the moment and doing everything you can in this moment but there are an occasional like maybe every two weeks you need to look at your your plan your drawing board and say like okay what needs to be reinvented for me to create my reality what steps do i need to implement or take out that is either slowing me down or going to help me get there but other than that if you are not being intentional about looking into the future and planning you are just creating a reality and manifesting a reality that you don't really want right because you the only thing that's real is right now guys like you're probably watching me on your little phone i want you to like like look at me like look at me like here here i am and then like kind of put your phone down for a second and look around you and realize how like that's the only thing that's real that's the only thing that's real oh like this is up here is creating all this fake shit it's creating all this fake realities, fallacies that you're convincing yourself are going to happen, but they're not unless you manifest that for yourself by overthinking about it so much. You have to be in the moment. You know, it's crazy because I was like, I was at Sabrina's the other day and I opened up the fridge and the only thing in my like peripheral vision was the fridge. So I'm like, the only thing I could see was inside the fridge and I go, Sabrina, isn't it crazy how right now my whole reality is the inside of a fridge? Because you can't prove to me that anything outside of me exists. You, I can't prove to you that anything outside the walls that you're in and out your window exists. You can't. You can't. You, if you guys have ever heard the Mandela Effect, like it's a really good movie. Um, you, you, guys, you guys all know the if a tree falls in the woods and no one's there to see it, does it make a sound? If no one's there to see it, does it even exist? If no one's there, like if there's no one there to observe anything, does it fail to exist? This is like the simulation theory, where it's like in Minecraft, if you're if you're walking around the map, in this in this one area of the map is all you see. The the system is saving space by not like being there until you go to it, right? So when you're on Minecraft, only one only only the part you're experiencing exists kind of fucking crazy right because it's just saving data by not existing until you're observing it so the only thing that exists right now is your immediate present moment especially like we get so caught up in the metaverse like i was getting caught up with these comments from all these insecure people and it was tweaking me it was tweaking me out but i just have to remind myself like the like i put my phone down and i remember that this is the only thing that's real i can create all these realities and let this adversity affect me or i can be in my moment and do what i can control which is post, do what aligns with me, and know that my intentions are pure. I have no hate for anyone. I just want the absolute best for everybody, and I want them to be healthy and happy. And that's my purest intentions. Um, so I love you guys so much. Like seriously, like this adversity has really shown me. Like wow, I I need I need to be grateful for the people that fuck with me because I I wouldn't be me without you guys. Simply, I simply wouldn't be. Um, and I'm so grateful for you guys, genuinely. And I hope this video helped you. I really do. So I love you guys. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you in the next video.